Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about the Andon Citron. How this drug acts as anti-emetic. Andon Citron is used as an anti-emetic agent. Particularly, it can inhibit the emesis produced by chemotherapy. So, in the chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, Andon Citron can be used. So, this chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting is denoted as CANV. So, in prevention of the CANV, Andon Citron can be used. Because many of the anti-cancer agents are better substances, they can stimulate the CTZ, the chemoreceptor trigger zone, thereby they can induce the emesis. One of the well-known drugs is the cisplatin. Cisplatin is a platinum compound which can produce the nausea and vomiting as one of the important side effects. So, Andon Citron can inhibit the nausea and vomiting produced by cisplatin. But how this drug is useful in the treatment of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting? Normally, the anti-cancer agents, when they are administered, they can enter into the GI tract and few of the anti-cancer agents can induce the high nausea and vomiting. For example, already we have discussed the cisplatin can induce the nausea and vomiting. So, when the cisplatin molecules are going to reach to the small intestine, they can act on one of the cells, ECL, enterochromaffin cells. These enterochromaffin cells are equipped with the chemoreceptors, which recognize the chemical signals. So, now the cisplatin is a chemical molecule which can bind to this uh, chemoreceptor such that it can stimulate the ECL and ECL then can release the 5-HT. In this way, the bitter substances can release the one of the important mediator 5-HT serotonin. Now, this released 5-HT can act on the two important centers within the CNS. One is the vomiting center and another one is the CTZ. This release serotonin can directly activate the CTZ chemoreceptor trigger zone by acting on the area postrema. Now, when this CTZ is going to be activated, it can send the signals to the vomiting center, which can induce the nausea and vomiting. On the other hand, the released 5-HT can also act on the vagal nerves. Now, this serotonin can act on the 5-HT3 receptors, which are located on the vagal nerves, which can send the signals to the vomiting center, again resulting in the nausea and vomiting. In this way, 5-HT can induce the nausea and vomiting by acting through the CTZ, otherwise by activating the vagal efferent neurons. At both of these locations, 5-HT3 receptors are present, which are blocked by Andon Citron. Now, these 5-HT3 receptors are inotropic receptors. All other 5-HT receptors are metabotropic, that means they are G-protein coupled receptors, but the 5-HT3 receptors are inotropic receptors. They are coupled with the ion channels, and they are pentameric in nature made up of five subunits. Now, when the 5-HT is going to be released from the enterochromaffin cells, it can act on the 5-HT3 receptors which are located at the CTZ such that it is going to stimulate the 5-HT3 receptors. When these receptors are going to be activated, they open via the ion channels. These ion channels are going to release the calcium as well as the sodium. Now, this calcium and sodium are responsible for the depolation of the postsynaptic membrane which results in the stimulation of emesis. So, nausea and vomiting are produced by stimulation of the 5-HT3 receptors. Now, here the Andon Citron is one of the drug which can selectively act on the 5-HT3 receptors. This Andon Citron can bind the inophoric site on the 5-HT3 receptors, thereby it can inhibit the activity of these receptors. Now, in presence of Andon Citron, the emesis can be prevented, which is stimulated by the 5-HT, released from the enterochromaffin cells by the action of the anti-cancer agents like the cisplatin. In this way, Andon Citron can inhibit the cisplatin-induced nausea and vomiting. What is the structure of this uh, Andon Citron? Andon Citron is having the structure like this, and here you can observe this having a ring system like this. What is the name of this ring system? This ring system is nothing but the carbazole. We can give the numbering to this carbazole from the phenyl ring. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ninth position to the nitrosin. So, this carbazole ring system is present in the Andon Citron. Now, we can write the name of this Andon Citron. All we have given the numbering to this uh, carbazole ring system. And here, this carbazole ring is having the ketone at the fourth position. And first, second, third positions are saturated. So, the first position can be indicated by 1H. And second and third position can be indicated by 2,3-dihydro. So, this is nothing but 1H carbazole 4 on which is prefixed with the 2,3-dihydro. So, this is the ring system present in the Andon Citron. And now, let us identify the side chains. Ninth position, it having a methyl group. On the nitrogen, it is having the methyl group. So, on the third position, again, it is having the methyl group, which is attached with the another heterocyclic ring system. So, let us give the numbering here, 1, 2, 3. 
So now we can write this as 3 dash methyl. This methyl group is attached with the imidazole ring system with a methyl group at the second position. So 2 methyl imidazole 1 aisle. So that is the complete name of the Andan Citron. So Andan Citron is having the 2 3 dihedro 1 H carbazole 4 on ring system. And ninth position 1 methyl group is present. Third position 1 methyl group is present which is attached to the 2 methyl imidazole 1 aisle ring system. So that is the name of the Andan Citron. What are the side effects? This drug mainly produces the central side effects, headache and dizziness. So the lightheadedness is observed in the patients when this drug is given for a longer period. And it can also produce a muscle pain, drowsiness, fatigue and constipation is one more important side effect of the Andansetron which can also produce some abdominal pain. And sometimes when this drug is given by IV route it can produce some diarrhea. Skin rashes can also be observed with the Andansetron. Other side effects like the urinary retention palpitations it can activate the cardiac system such that it produces some tachycardia and palpitations and it can also decrease the blood pressure resulting in the hypotension so these are the various side effects of the andan citron contraindications hypersensitivity is one of the important contraindication of the andan citron so this drug can produce skin rashes so if any skin rashes are observed with this drug an alternative drug is indicated similarly this drug also produces a pruritus which Limits the drug in the few of the patients who are getting the hypersensitive reactions. Similarly, another one is the hypotension. All we have seen that uh, Andan Cetron can decrease the blood pressure. So, in case of hypotension, this drug should be carefully given. And particularly, whenever we are giving the other drugs like the apomorphine. Apomorphine is a dopamine agonist which is used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. And this drug is an emetic substance. So, in order to control the MCs, if we are going to give the Andan Cetron, it may lead to some drug interaction. Because the apomorphine can produce the hypotension and Andan Cetron can produce the hypotension. So when these two drugs are going to be combined, they produce a severe hypotension. So Andan Cetron is contraindicated with the apomorphine. So these are the two important contraindications of the Andan Cetron. Now let us see the drug interactions. Enzyme inducers, particularly the drugs like phenytoin, carbamazepine, rifampicin, these drugs can induce the metabolic enzymes, particularly CYP3A4 enzyme. Thereby, they can increase the metabolism of this Andan Citron, which results in the loss of anti emetic activity. So, in presence of enzyme inducers, the dosage should be carefully adjusted in order to control the emesis produced by anti cancer agents. Similarly, in case of enzyme inhibitors like uh, azole antifungals and antidepressants, the metabolism is going to be inhibited which results in the elevated levels of Andan Citron resulting in the increased toxicity of this drug. The drug interactions with the enzyme inducers as well as enzyme inhibitors should be carefully checked. And already we have seen one of the drug interactions which is a strict contraindication. The Andan Citron should not be given with the epomorphine because this combination produces the severe hypotension. How it is given? This drug is given as a tablet form at a dose of 4 to 4 mg and 8 mg and it is also given as a oral solution at 4 mg per 5 ml as well as it is also available at IV solution in the ampules of 4 mg per 2 ml. So the dosage is starting from 4 mg and can also be increased to the 8 mg. So that's about the Andan Citron. Andan Citron is a 5-HT3 receptor antagonist and this drug is going to inhibit the chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting by acting on the 5-HT3 receptors which stimulate the vomiting center and the chemoreceptor trigger zone. The anti-cancer agents like the cisplatin are highly bitter substances and they can release the 5-HT from the enterocomyphin cells within the small intestine which stimulate the CTZ as well as the vomiting center resulting in the nausea and vomiting. And this emesis is going to be controlled by Andan Citron by blocking the 5-HT3 receptors. So that's about this Andan Citron. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.